Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, diagnose a, a Mavic Free Hub body issue um, and actually how to take one apart and clean it and replace one. So I get a lot of hits on my blog and a request from my, from my podcast, so I figure I'd show you how to do this via video. The way you can tell it's going bad is that you grab hold of the whole cassette and you move it you know, back and forth and the more wear there is, the more movement there's going to be. Um, you'll be able to tell, it's hard to tell on the video, but the whole cassette is rocking, not just individual cogs. The whole cassette uh, is completely rocking. So what you do is you have to get your uh, chain whip. Okay, cassette's off. This is what a free hub body looks like. Again, this is campy. What you want to do is you want to uh, go on the non-drive side. This is the drive side, non-drive side, and you want to pull this cap off, the end cap. Okay. Set it aside where you don't lose it. You're going to insert a 10 millimeter hex wrench into the non-drive side until it engages. I'm going to take a 5 millimeter wrench to the drive side, and you're going to unscrew this part here. You kind of have to be careful that the, so that the free body does not fall off and the paws and springs go flying. But you're going to remove this, set it aside where you'll be cleaning it in a little bit, and you're going to carefully lift the free hub body. And be careful that the, the paws and the springs don't go flying. Okay, free hub body. And I don't know if you can see this. This is pretty, it's really dirty. But here's the uh, one of the paws and the springs. You can see how small the spring is. And grab the other one too. Okay, set them aside. We're going to inspect them to see if they're still okay. If, they're, if there's a lot of wear on the edge, we're going to replace both of them. It doesn't hurt to replace both of them anyway. So what you have left is the nose, what they call the nose of the hub. And grab a rag. A small washer. that It sits right here on this bearing. So it goes between this bearing and the free hub body. Okay, when you put it back in. Okay. So we're going to clean this out really good. Okay, so we're going to clean this off. Once you get a lot of the grease off, what you do is remove carefully the gasket. And a lot of times this is still good. You just have to clean it up really good. Be careful you don't tear it. Okay, it shouldn't be dry or cracked or anything. Okay, so we're going to set that aside and clean that. Really clean the inside, this part of the hub, really good. What wears down that nylon bushing which is you see how it's really all gunked up if I can find the camera here as opposed to here's a new one okay and what actually wears is the thickness this thickness right here where so the inside diameter increases just from where Okay, and what actually wears this nylon bushing down is actually uh, debris that gets in there, contaminants, that it's very abrasive, and it actually grinds away that nylon bushing. And if, it's, if it gets really bad, it will actually grind away and decrease the outside diameter of this nose part that the bushing rides on. 
not a bad design, it's just something that has to be maintained. Um, this doesn't happen that, off, that often, but it does happen. Uh, so, the reason, I mean, if, the, if it wasn't worn and you weren't getting the, the, um, the play, the side play, what you want to do is really clean this up really good. You can use, uh, you can use some rubbing alcohol, clean it up. Again, try to keep anything away from the bearing inside there because the bearing is not, uh, well, technically, if you ask Mavic, they say the, the bearing isn't replaceable. But uh, it, does, it takes a lot for that bearing to go bad. So you want to clean that up. But in this case, we're not going to be using this anymore. And what I'm going to do is, with these paws and springs, to get a better look at them, at the condition, I'm going to actually, I'm going to put all these small parts in my parts washer, my ultrasonic parts washer, and uh, I'll be right back.